Welcome back to Dihack GU Last Recode. It's been a while, but I seem to remember Yada. Him wanting something, so. Let's head on over to the Serpent of Lore. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Serpent of Lore. And actually, I can't do it here. I give up. Well, all right, going to Raven. Ditto. Pickles. Weird. So let's see what Yada wants. It seems that you have awakened, and you are now able to use your avatar. Huh. Some aren't so happy with that. Hmm. Don't worry about Kuhn. And are you okay with that too, old hag? I will obey Master Yada. Well, you sure are dedicated. You would never understand. Now, shall we get on about your mission? You are to investigate the area of my designation and to attain a sample of the first level Ida. Now, do you have any questions? How do you get it? By using the Avatar's data drain, you can also draw out Ida's data. Hey, you haven't forgotten what you said when you asked me to join GU, have you? I have absolutely no qualms about rendering assistance to you in your search for Tri-Edge. Watch. that happened about a month ago in the world. This is the same thing that happened to Shino. Due to the shock the victim suffered from the attack, he is in a coma and has yet to recover. You mean there are others like Shino out there? We have a name for the players who have fallen into comas. We like to call them the Lost Ones. The Lost Ones? What is he? An epitaph user? The only thing we know is he's not a regular player. Upon researching the access record for the area, 
we have found information that matches the three victims, as well as one other unknown player ID, which is suspected to be Triedge. Those records remain on the logs. However, the entry record for the Chaos Gate in the same time period of the attack you just watched shows only three players. In other words, he's getting into areas through means other than a Chaos Gate? Yes, he sure fits the description of a ghost. So, how the hell do we track down someone like that? If we find out anything else, I'll definitely let you know. In exchange... You want me to investigate Ida, right? Okay, fine. I'll do it. Very good. I will notify you of your area of investigation later. You are dismissed. Is that it? Oh, you can't do anything with the terminal. Um, so yeah, we got our first mission from Yada. Who knew? Now what? I guess we just go home? Oh yeah, I did some stuff off camera that was interesting. Let's see if I can go turn that in. Every time I went to grind somewhere, I run into a legendary PK, which is super strange. Yo. Four hundred GP, huh? Anytime you kill one of those dudes, you get a crazy reward, and... No, no, they're kind of fun. The broadsword's kind of broken. <clears throat> Has, like, an infinite where you could just hit a dude with a... The charge of attack over and over again, and... It's just over. Whoops. Sorry about being so loud. I tried to turn the mic down a bit. We'll see how that goes. But I think I just want me to log out now. Hmm. That black screen always freaks me out. Well, it's been another week since I've played. But thankfully, you'll have content in the meantime, because I backed up stuff. So... I just had a little mini vacation, but here I am. We're back to do more dot hack. I actually hope I can knock this game out before the end of February. So you might see more of it than you're used to, maybe? Depending on how the last couple parts go. But you're not here for that. Let's progress the story. There's one important email. And Tara is urgent. I'll be waiting for you, Lumina Claus Cascade. Old what? man and Terrace. What does he want? He's at Lumina Cloth, huh? Let's send hello to Adelie. Hello to Pi. Uh, snitch our one already? Let's send a hello to Pyros also. We'll do more of this stuff later. Let's jump back in there and see what the emergency is. Terrace. What does he want? He's at Lumina Cloth, huh? What does he want? So, 
You won first round? Yeah. Well, I guess that's only natural. After all, you are my disciple. When did I become your disciple? I want you to meet some people. Hmm? Come. Huh, where's he taking us? Oh, this is Guild Place? Let's go. Hey, where are we going? To Ecolo's headquarters. Ecolo? A crazy guild where the requirement to join is to be an arena emperor. Why are we going there? Wait a second, you can't get inside other at-homes without a key? Here. This is... Why do you... Shut up. Just shut your mouth and come with me. In we go. Hey there, serious. How you doing, Lord Emperor of the Holy Palace? <laughs> huh? You mean this guy's an arena emperor too? He doesn't look that strong to me. And Terrace, what's the meaning of this? Nothing at all. I just came to show my disciple here the famous Ecolo headquarters. I told you, I'm not your disciple. Listen up, Antares. This is a citadel for the Chosen Ones, a place for brave warriors, not a place where any outsider can just waltz in. Especially not for someone who abandoned Ecolo like you did. Do not disturb our order. Is that what you think, too? Come out and say hello, Taihaku. Uh, when did he get here? There's no need to worry. I will honor your intent. After all, you are the founder of Ecolo. This guy, I think I've seen him somewhere. <laughs> That's my Taihaku. Unlike some greenhorn brat, you know your manners. But why not just speak frankly? That Ecolo's order doesn't mean anything. And Terrace, you bastard! Huh, who the hell is this guy? How should I know? We're in the middle of something. Get out of here! Is she a member of Ecolo too? She's an ex Ecolo, just the same as me. Now let's see. She's participating in the Demon Palace tournament like you. So I guess that would mean she'll be one of your rivals as well. Rival? Who? You mean this? He looks weak. What did you say? You're the one messing around. What are you, some kind of noob? Don't you know the name Alcade, Demon Palace Emperor? <sighs> Former Emperor. Shut the hell up! The current Emperor is Endrance, because you lost to him. Shut up, you stupid telephone pole! I'll reclaim my place! Ha! <laughs> Don't act like a sore loser. <sighs> Damn! Got it? Listen, noob. You and I are on totally different levels. I 
I will be the one to defeat Endrance. There's no place for you in this fight. Like hell! I am gonna be the one to defeat Endrance! What was that? You're talking trash! But when it comes down to it, you lost to him! That's why you left Ecolo. Shut up! I only lost last time because I let my guard down! I'll definitely win against him next time. That's enough, you two. Let's go, Haseo. Man, that woman pisses me off. That's the current state of Ecolo. Huh? A guild master that has lost his zeal and members who have nothing at all except for their empty pride. Can this be? Is this the Ecolo that I envisioned? Uh... When I saw your fight at the arena, when I saw how eagerly you fought, this dried-up old man thought to himself, I thought it would be interesting if he became an emperor. I don't care about what you find interesting or not, but I am going to become the Emperor. He's going to be the Emperor. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm coming off of a cold for some reason. But I didn't get hit with the sickness as bad as most other people. So like I said, we're gonna kick that hack into full gear. Actually, we're gonna kick every game into full gear. Yeah, it's Yana. I have Pi stationed at Mac Andrews Chaos Gate. Join her as soon as possible. Talk to Pi for details and follow her orders. I've gotta cooperate if I want more information on Triage, huh? Damn Yada. And greetings to you too, on the basis of our being like-minded friends. May the stars shine upon you until the end of your journey. Thank you for the greeting card. I feel like today is going to be a great day. You made me so happy. You're always acting real tough, like a real tough and tough character. Rough and tough character, but you're actually very polite and well-mannered, aren't you? I hope I get to see this kind of sale when I'm around. Let's form a party and go adventuring sometime soon. Hmm. What should we do here? You're late! Our current mission is to investigate a certain area. Ida? Yes. A faint response has been detected in that area. It's perfect for someone like you who has just awakened. This mission doubles as your training. You will do as I say, and nothing else. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, ma'am. All right. Then invite me into your party. The area we'll be heading to is Delta Delicious Pass Weed Eater. Also, just to let you know, it'll just be you and me on this mission. Keep that in mind. Ugh. What was that? No, nothing, ma'am.
Just her, huh? Nobody else. Oh, everyone else is gone anyway. They keep locking you out of your characters like that. Let's do it. I'm way too strong. Too buff. Like I said before, you will follow my orders throughout this mission. Have you got that? All right already. You! Do you want to end up like Shino? You heard from Yada. You think all you have to do is dangle that? Like master, like servant, huh? It's not funny. How many times do I have to tell you an avatar is a dangerous, hard to control power? In that sense, they aren't very far removed from Ida or Triedge. <clears throat> we Epitaph users are connected to our characters on a mental and spiritual level. Data drain is the power to alter data. If your avatar goes berserk, that power will flow back into your own character. If that happens to you, Haseo, you may become a lost one, too. Okay, okay, I got it. Whatever. Until I can fully control my avatar, I'll do whatever you say. There. Are you happy now? Yes. Oh, look at that. We don't even have to go very far. Be careful, or you'll get pulled into the other side of the hole. Other side? Here we have an avatar battle. Stun with bullets. Attack for massive damage. Evade by pressing circle to dash. Outer space. An unacknowledged space is created when the avatar is conjured. Control the avatar and destroy the Ida. Pi will use specifics on controls. To defeat Ida, first you will need to get its HP down to zero. Then perform a protect break on it. Protect break? What's that? You'll understand once you get its HP down to zero. If you get its HP down to zero, then perform a protect break. Oh, use a scythe. Watch out for indicators that show it's going to attack. It completely missed. All right, data drain. Hold on, X and release to hit the enemy with the data drain shot while it's in protect. You performed break. a protect break. You mean we can't defeat it even if we get its HP down to zero? Yes, that's right. To completely immobilize Ida, we need to absorb its configuration data with data drain. Data drain. Don't waste time. We can only use Data Drain effectively when Ida's protection is disabled like it is now. Ida's protection will recover itself after a while. 
Charge the data drain by holding down. When the gauge is full, release the button to fire it. Even if your opponent is moving fast, it will stop for a split second. Use data drain at that exact moment. Got him. Not bad. Summoning more than one avatar will cause interference and thus increases the chance for them to go berserk. As it is now, the most effective method is to support a single avatar. We'll get stronger as I level up. Interesting. I guess that's it. Or is there more to do here? Yeah, I got an E. The exact area where Ida was detected is Delta Delicious Pass Weed Eater. Just the two of us. Oh, there's more to do. I didn't even realize it. I thought that was it. So what we're going to do here is... I'm going to cut and come right back for more Dihag GU Last Recode. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. For part two of Ida Training and more. Catch you later.